Hi guys, it's Kiara Louise and I'm a sophomore and for today I'll be showing you guys what it's like for me to be preparing for my online classes for this intercession. summer classes but not the way you think more of like if you have too much courses during the semester they kind of put some in the summer so that you're not so loaded for the actual semester itself so yeah I got like two classes or courses which is six units and I'm gonna be showing you what it's like usually what happens before classes start and since it's gonna be online I'm also gonna be fixing my digital space and my physical space prepping for my online classes so that everything is smooth and sailing once it's ready to go so I'm gonna be filming the intro here right now because there's light because in my room it's so dark which I love but it's not good <laughs> so yeah enjoy this sweet light because it's gonna be going away in a while but anyways let's go start and go to my table Welcome to my table. There's a little light. Yes, it's kind of weird. It's like I'm in the office, like I'm waiting for someone to be right in front of me because my desk is not on the wall. It's weird. I know, it's odd. It's different. I don't like the feeling of, like I can't see what's behind me. So it's just very uncomfortable for me. So I like looking this way, you know, where I can see everything. So I'm fine. Right, so there's a couple of things to do before we start. Um, first, we will be cleaning my laptop and getting rid of everything unnecessary. Number two, we are going to be getting ready for enlistment, which means you have to enlist or enroll per class. And that's kind of like first come, first serve basis. You want to know already beforehand which professors you want to take or what times you want to take. Third is I'm going to be setting up my schedule and basically just fixing everything on my desk. So... Let's open this laptop, shall we? Fun fact, this is not like my wallpaper. These are actually folders. I just made the name space bar, space bar, space bar so that there's no name. Here I have a sample folder. <laughs> you could just right click over that, get the info, and then copy image and then paste it in this button over here. That's how I like to organize different folders each. One is for school, one is for my video edits and stuff. E for extra, like random, random things, like movie tickets or whatever. I like everything on a desktop just so that everything's there already. It's like, hey Keanu, or hey Louise, what do you wanna do today? The thing is, I use Louise because all the letters in that name are different, but I mean, it can be Kiana, double N, but sometimes when it's in the finder and it just says N, it's kind of confusing on what folder it is but still identifiable I, I find it nicer if everything's like a different letter so it's not as confusing that's a long story but yeah that's just it i think right now all i have to do is find out what to delete so i'm just gonna be doing that Alright, so I clicked on the university folder and cleaned up some stuff, but yeah, this is how I divide my university folder. The biggest thing that I do is that I separate all my majors into one folder, like no matter if it's in the first year, second year, fourth year, third year, or whatever, so it's all there. Because I find like these are the most important courses I'm taking since they're the reasons why I chose the course in the first place. Alright, now that everything's clean, it's time to now go and dive into professor shopping! Ateneo has this website called ISIS, which basically is like everything you need to know. All your information, all the classes available, your classes, your grades, everything. Usually before a class, you're supposed to enlist. So you go to your official curriculum first to check out what are the classes that you need to enroll in. And then you go over here to your class schedule. Basically, the class schedule of everybody. This is where 
here you can see the times available and you're supposed to figure out which ones you prefer so you can make your own schedule and stuff like that. And then there are actually Facebook groups or whatever. Ateneo professors to pick. Those are like the descriptions of professors like to find out basically what fits your learning style and to prepare yourself on what you need stuff and all that. So you also can find that in Facebook. It's like it's a community of Ateneo students who want to help each other out. Enlistment is usually scheduled. For me, I'm unfortunately batch four for now. I'm just gonna be listing down for the classes I think I'll be taking. I already picked out what I kind of like. I usually want to go for the classes that are early in the morning so like I don't feel pressured to go online the entire morning for the afternoon class. Hopefully I can get it. This is actually not the class schedule. This is my hopeful class schedule which I can hopefully get. Now that my digital space is done, it's time to close this and move on to my physical space, which is my desk. I don't really use my drawers, but the fun thing about this is that when I look right, all my notebooks are there. All my stuff, my calculators, everything, all my whatever. And when I turn to my left, it's a black wall where I can put my corkboard. this which will be the biggest tip I'm gonna give to you and that would be having this this planner is actually a day-to-day -day planner or it's a daily planner. I buy planners for my daily to-do list, not really to plan. The best tip I could give right now is to make sure you actually have a planner. I saw this meme that the worst thing to buy this year is a 2020 planner, but that's not true. You'll need it. <laughs> actually, no, it's right. Not 2020 planner. More of a random, not specific daily planner. I used to love putting all my to-do lists and plans and everything on my phone, but that was when everything Everything was all physical all physical notes and stuff like that so having like a physical planner like this would be a little bit of a distraction to all the physical things you have already so I like to separate my mind from the chaos into my phone so that all my to-do lists are there I'm focused it's clear everything's clear but now that it's digital I advise you go separate and put balance into that by getting a physical planner like this all your to-dos are here you won't get distracted because imagine this which happens all to me you're on your phone writing down your to do's and then you suddenly get a notification from Google Classroom or something and then you go there and then you just completely forget about it a lot of distractions since everything will be online which is why separate yourself from it but when classes come back again I don't know what you prefer but I prefer doing it all on my phone because number one less things to bring to college this is extra weight and space I'm gonna go use that baby it's July 1 today, 30 minutes before my enlistment. I checked ISIS again to see if there were still available slots for the classes I wanted to take and since I'm in the best batch ever, this list I have here that I had for my classes, my dream schedule, gone! And it goes like that for every story for batch 4. You have to say goodbye to your dream schedule. I'm gonna log into ISIS already just to like get ready. I will switch to my hotspot thing so that it's sure that it would be fast internet. And I'm gonna put a countdown on one of my tabs so I know when to refresh. So later, I have to like be really quick and everything because honestly, I forgot how to enlist. That's number one. And number two, these are basically like the scavengers scavenging for the scraps. You know what I mean? So, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, okay. One minute and 22 seconds left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, endless in class. Oh my god, I don't know how. I understand. Proceed. <laughs> And list shoot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> that that was it. That was it. Huh. So that was endless.
this meant basically just me panicking. So what I'm waiting for right now is the free for all. You're given the option if you want to enlist again for another subject to fill the max load. So yeah, I'm gonna try but usually it's just the leftover classes. So let's see if we can find a worth it class and I'm just gonna like browse through if like there are any classes worth taking that I want to take. I actually listed already down the, the classes I kind of want to go to. After that, you're supposed to like enroll. Afterwards, you have your final list of classes and then you enroll for it. That's how it goes. One more weekend and Five, school officially starts. Four, so. three, two, one. It is actually already Thursday. Just kidding, Monday, the start of online classes. But since everything's still a little not final yet, uh, classes are haven't started. I forgot what happened last time. I think the last thing I did was try to enlist. Apparently, there was another process that I wasn't aware of because I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of new to all this entire online enlisting for and adding courses. So I really didn't know a lot. I guess all of us didn't. In the end, I wasn't able to get another class because it just coincided with my schedule now so blah 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 blue i guess i had an extra day of preparation maybe this time it's more emotional because at least i have like one more day of like no classes until classes actually start because to be honest I, we were kind of low-key panicking how do we meet the teacher no one's emailing us or anything yeah i'm gonna put a clip here it's now sunday the day before my online school officially starts to be honest i I don't know what to do yet. Like, I honestly don't know what to expect. Yeah, I I'm not officially enrolled yet. <laughs> hmm. That's why I can't get my syllabus. Um, if you don't know what syllabus mean, you may check. Honestly, don't know what to do yet. <laughs> like, literally, do I make a Google Hangout meet something something and invite the professor in there like hello <laughs> you know you gotta prepare for everything even though it's not gonna happen so even though it's not gonna be useful but anyways thank you for watching everyone if you enjoyed i hope you can subscribe and like this video and 